Yeah, I think it's been a massive whirlwind. I think for us, looking back now at Wakefield, starting February, didn't know what was going to happen with COVID, and I feel very lucky we got to this point. We now to have all of our kind of fixtures and got one more training session. So yeah, it's been amazing. I think the setup's been great. Kind of England netball, the Super League, and the club, the safety of players been massive and at the forefront. And we just enjoyed the season. We said at the start we wanted to put on a show for the fans who weren't able to be there for the majority of it. I think the season's definitely lived up to that. I think it's probably been um, the best one so far. Lots of things happening, but really proud of us and kind of finishing at the top of the table. Oh, there's been quite a few to be honest. I think possibly um, for me the Wasp game I thought was quite a big one for us, that first one in, in, in that first week and when we came up with them again, obviously unfortunately Han got injured that game and some of the resilience we showed. So I think they've been definitely some good battles. Um, possibly Lee Trino's first round as well. I think we all really enjoyed that game. So there's been lots of amazing moments. I think the young players that we've got from our team have really stepped up. It's been exciting for the fans. I think I said it at the start. I'm excited for you to see these players, see these young ones come through and haven't they just kind of lived up to it. So lots of great moments, but looking forward to this weekend. Oh gosh, there has been a few, hasn't there? Um, yeah. It, there's been some great battles, I think obviously versus kind of Jay Clark and Serena and kind of Amy Carter, the, the likes of those names are phenomenal athletes and the abilities that they have and I know I have to kind of raise my game and kind of make sure that I play well for the team and yeah, really enjoy coming up against some kind of the best in the world. Yeah, I think for me it's probably been the easiest year by far. I feel like everyone has just really stepped up, you know. Probably a few years ago there was probably a lot of kind of um, leading maybe on the leadership team and kind of the captain role, but I just think over the years now we've just become such a close-knit team. The young ones have stepped up, everybody's vocal, everyone knows their role and takes responsibility. You know, we've got the likes of kind of Sam May, Hannah Joseph that are leading on the leadership team, they stepped up, they have different roles in the club. But then you've kind of got Ben Cobden as well, who is just as vocal, just as loud. So um, probably been one of my favourite years, just thinking about how many different people have been able to have a voice and kind of take on their role. I think our togetherness and just um, yeah, seeing how connected we can be. We know we didn't perform well in some games, and that's probably because I think we've lost that. And I think the Thunder game for me kind of really showed that. I think we kind of all went into ourselves and kind of started to play our own game. I think you can probably tell from the back game on Monday night when we played together and worked together and stick out there as a unit what we can actually do so I think it's making sure we go into this finals no matter what happens or what the outcome what the score for me I just want to make sure we stay connected and stay controlled and um, hope everything else to take care of itself. Yeah, I'm excited. I feel like um, obviously got to a few finals and not be able to go with that finishing line. And um, yeah, it's important for me that I kind of lift the team and, and enjoy it. You don't know how many times you get a little bit older you'll be in this situation, how many finals you get. You know, there's lots of teams that haven't made this point. It's important to celebrate the fact every team said they want to get to top four. We've done that. So I think that is something to be really proud of. Um, but also to enjoy this week. Some of the girls are their first final, so it's kind of nice to see them and how they're enjoying it. And obviously there's going to be nerves. I'll always get a little bit nervous, but it shows that you care. So I think just soaking it in and don't know how many more that I'll get, so I'm really grateful. Uh, to be honest, I don't think we've had time to process it. Obviously we have a game on Monday. We've had a rest day now. I've got two days of training before you know it'll be Saturday. So yeah, I think obviously getting that Monday game means our week looks a little bit different than probably we wanted to and probably wanted kind of maybe that extra day uh, rest and recovery to get our normal week. But um, yeah, I think adrenaline will take over and the excitement and yeah, just back to business. Oh yeah, it would be phenomenal and it would be such a whirlwind. With, with this year as well, with COVID, to kind of come through and, and, and do it for the squad, do it for the team and for the fans that support us along the way that haven't been able to kind of come to those games, especially at the start, it would mean so much. You know, we're getting so close, we're just not able to get the finishing line as kind of few years ago. So um, I think for us as a team, it would be massive and fingers crossed we lift that trophy.